God, it says, in the quiet solitude of contemplation, a profound revelation washed over you. It began as a gentle whisper, its origin seemingly divine. It was God, the omnipotent being, speaking directly to your soul. My child, someone has confessed a terrible truth to me. God's voice echoed through the depths of your being. They have admitted a heinous act they committed against you. A surge of emotions coursed through your veins. Shock and disbelief mingled with a sense of vindication. For years, you had carried the burden of a secret, too painful to utter. Now, the truth had finally come to light, albeit in a most unexpected way. Don't skip this video if you believe in God. I know the weight you have carried. God continued. The pain and anguish that have tormented your heart. But know this, my dear one. Justice will be served. Your spirit soared as a ray of hope pierced through the darkness. God's unwavering presence enveloped you offering solace and strength. You felt a sense of freedom washing over you, as if an oppressive weight had been lifted from your shoulders. Your pain has not been in vain, God assured you. Their confession has brought the truth to the forefront, and accountability will follow. You are worthy of healing, my child. Let my peace mend your broken spirit and guide you towards a brighter future. As the divine voice faded, a profound sense of gratitude filled your heart. You realized that God had been with you all along, watching over you and guiding your path. The confession had been a catalyst for healing, a beacon of light in the midst of darkness. Type, I am ready to shine, to affirm. You don't have to manipulate the process. God is sending your spouse, someone to pray with you for all of your days, someone to love you the way you've always desired, someone that matches your prayer life, someone that matches your true heart's desires. You see, God placed those desires inside of you. Don't you think he knows how to fulfill them? Let go and let God. God is pressing me to speak to the broken soul in the waiting. God wants you to know that he hasn't forgotten you. He's about to restore you like never before. Love is coming to you. And it'll be so beautiful the pain of the past will have no more place in your life. God knows the desires of your heart, even the ones you don't talk about. The love you pray for and desire is real and it's out there awaiting your arrival. God still has a beautiful story for you, and it's coming despite how you feel. May all this come with a wind that thrusts you straight into your promised land. May all this come with peace from heaven and contagious laughter. May all this birth all that January through July could not. May it be the starting point to your greatest chapter yet. Praise through. He's able. All this will be a God did it kind of month and it'll only get better from here. I hope you fall in love with every season, because each one serves a special purpose for your journey. Fall in love with the unknown. There's a lesson to be learned. And one day soon, you'll understand the journey. You'll find comfort in what was and what was not you'll finally understand why it all had to happen. You'll find beauty in what is and what was, 
and how God worked it all together for your good. Type yes if you are ready. In my quiet place with Jesus, I heard the Lord say, Get ready to recover all. Get ready to receive. Some of you don't even realize that your feet have entered your promised land. Hold the Father's hand and obey His commands. Everything is about to change. Look at the attacks as proof. Your season has changed. The shift has begun. It's time. I'm learning that with God, there are truly no limits. It's not too late to live your best life. You're not too far to receive. Perhaps this is your moment. Perhaps you feel like you're backtracking but you're closer than ever. Perhaps that painful ending was setting you up for a glorious new beginning. There are no limits. Be ready to receive. Just because a chapter is ending doesn't mean a beautiful one can't begin. Let the old fall away. Let the past remain in the graveyard. There is new life to be birthed. There is a new season awaiting your arrival. Let the old go. God is taking you somewhere beautiful where victory and joy is your portion. I know it hurt. I know it wasn't fair. But when the Father's restores, the pain of the past won't linger. So let go and trust the one who holds the answers. Something incredible is coming. For someone, there are still so many blessings attached to this year. God hasn't forgotten what he told you in your quiet place with him. It's still going to happen. For someone, by the end of this year you will be unrecognizable. Get ready for your moment. It'll happen suddenly. Tight payment and share it with three people if you affirm. God is sharing with you today. I realize you have been second-guessing yourself recently and contemplating whether you are truly sufficient or adequate to do what I put in your heart to do. This message is here to advise you that you can do everything through Christ. Don't even think about surrendering or let dread work you out of your fantasy. Keep in mind I'm with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Really look at BioConnect to mystery of draw and cash. Connect in remark area. Maybe not today, and maybe not tomorrow. But someday it's gonna be okay. Someday it's gonna be more than okay. The clouds will part. The sun will shine again and the God who is able will restore and make life beautiful again. You might not be okay today and that's okay. But rest assured that one day soon, you're gonna be so much more than okay. Life will be beautiful again and even greater than before. God is about to do it suddenly. There's a sound from heaven coming. The presence of the Lord is approaching. He's about to show up and show out for his faithful people. His presence can't be mistaken. He's coming. I feel it in my spirit and all around me. Get ready. God is about to do the very thing you and him talked about in secret. Your heart's desires are about to birth forth in the natural. You'll see he always paid attention to even the little details. Listen for the wind. It's coming. Type yes to affirm this. A new beginning is emerging from the valley. I feel it in my spirit. I know you didn't plan on it going this way. 
I know you hoped it would have worked out with that person. I know you thought that life would be so different by now, but there is a grace over your life right now. There is a grace to let go of what you can't control because that is where the most remarkable miracles are birthed. And I know you wanted it your way. I know your hopes and dreams feel they are crashing and burning, but this is only the beginning. Stay the course and watch what God will do with your brokenness. Stay a little while. He's going to take your pain and frustrations and exchange them for joy and blessings. There is nothing the good father can't do. Don't stop here. There's a wonderful adventure on the other side of this. The journey isn't easy, but when the father restores you, you'll see just why it was worth it. Hold on, something wonderful is beyond the valley. Stay a little while to see. God is about to part the sea and take care of your enemies. You're about to cross over into your promised land. I keep dreaming of wind and the spirit of the Lord keeps bringing me to. Look for a mighty wind. Listen and wait for his wind. He's coming so that you can finally enter into the places you and him talked about. This year is different for many. Get ready for your exodus moment. Type yes if you agree. You don't always have to pray until the walls fall down. You don't always have to beg until you have no words left. You don't always have to be in battle mode. What if surrender is the key? What if rest is what God is asking? What if your ability to let it go is the very act that God uses to bring the promise? Sometimes the promise comes right when we're letting go. Maybe your surrender is the final test. What you're going to find today is groundbreaking. Brief your battling to take care of bills. Overwhelmed with cash stresses. Also, the following moment. You're drawing in cash like steel to a magnet. What has this daily routine changing effect in individuals' experiences? It's called the Hereditary Abundance Code once you actuate it. Your life won't ever go back from this point onward. You can activate your Hereditary Abundance Code here today. It's ideal to actuate this code now while this page is still live. Tap the connection in my remarks to actuate your hereditary abundance code. Type. I'm open to change. To affirm. The moment he sets his eyes upon you, he will know. And your beautiful heart will never have to convince this man that you are worthy of being pursued. For the splendor of your soul will make its mark deeply upon his. And as long as he truly lives, he will adore you ever so ardently. And set his soul upon devoting himself to loving you correctly until his very last beat of his heart. For he will comprehend that you are worth it, treating you gently, and leading you sweetly with clarity and consistency. And in his warm arms, you will feel wholeheartedly safe. For even in the midst of your weight, the angels of heaven were beautifully making a way that you may be joined gloriously into the soulmate that was predestined to become one with you, fervently, ardently, blessed with a healthy and wholesome kind of love that lasts long, till death you part. Comment. Amen, if you believe. I asked God for a rose, but he gave me a seed. It took me years to comprehend what it means. He told me to plant it, and I did. 
Yet none of this was making any sense to me. I wanted what I asked for there and then. I didn't want to wait years for it. But he tells me to be patient. I'm trying to remain obedient. It's so difficult to not look at everyone else's gardens, seemingly abundant with roses of every color. Look at me, he tells me, holding my hand in his. Day by day, we've been watering the soil consistently. But I tell him that I'm getting tired of seeing no sign of fruition. He replies, Rest if you must. But don't give up on me, my love. He said that he'll take care of it while I rest. I chose to believe him. But that didn't take away the pain of waiting. He understood that I was frustrated. Yet he held me steadfast in his embrace, and basked me peacefully in his grace. One night I cried myself to sleep in his arms as we watched and waited for the rose to spring. The next morning it did, though not one, but plenty, spread beautifully throughout my garden in abundance, more beautifully and wonderfully than I ever dreamed. God will take your years of disappointment away in just a single day. Absolutely everything that your beautiful heart has been waiting on will spring forward into your life so powerfully unexpected, utterly rich with abundance and grace. What's coming for you will truly surprise your heart so wonderfully with every single prayer that you've been dreaming of. Nothing that you have asked for has gone unheard, for heaven is lovingly willing and faithful to bloom your heart's desires to fruition. Type. I believe in myself. To affirm. I can no longer suppress my femininity, for my heart ardently desires to be loved by a man who protects and provides for me. I understand that I am more than capable of taking care of myself as a grown woman, but my soul has become exhausted trying to to do everything on my own, and my heart no longer desires to journey through life hardened, overworked and alone. Because for so long I have devoted myself to taking care of everyone else. I wish to soften and comprehend what it means to for my soul to receive and rest. I dream of falling in love with a gentleman who takes his role seriously, as a father and husband, whose heart is utterly fervent to lead me and our children with love, to feel safe and steadfast in his sweet arms basking beautifully in assurance of his strong and faithful love. Activate the flow of unlimited wealth, happiness, pleasure, freedom, and confidence into your life by making one tiny change to your morning routine. Would you want it? Check link in comments below to know the wealth secrets to attract an abundance of wealth. Type yes if you are ready. God wants to see you fall in love with a man whose heart remains fervently devoted to you. For even in the midst of your waiting, the Divine One has not slept nor slumbered as He prepares your soulmate to be joined unto you in the fullness of time. He will pursue you, beautifully equipped to provide for you, protect you, and nourish your soul spiritually mentally and emotionally at such glorious depths that cannot be accessed as ardently by anyone else on this earth. Blessed divinely within holy matrimony, as two become one, you will have a lasting, wholesome love. Till death you part. Type. I am present. To affirm. 
Receive the love that you have prayed for right now in this moment, by faith. For your sweet soul no longer has to keep waiting for so long in pain, either should you continue doubting whether love is possible for you. Because I assure you, beautiful, that it is. For you are absolutely worthy of the sweetest love. Heaven awaits to bless you with a healthy, wholesome relationship. Do not wait to see progress to start believing, but rather expect to be blessed with the best, swiftly and without delay. For you have waited for far too long, and this much-awaited love story shall now bless your heart exceedingly and abundantly beyond all you could ever anticipate. For heaven has heard your heart, and is absolutely ready to kiss all of your tears away, replacing your deepest sorrow with such blissful joy, overflowing your soul with serenity and bliss at the glorious fulfillment of your dreams, now and forevermore. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. I used to question why God put me in positions I thought I couldn't handle. However, each time I came out stronger and wiser than ever before. The harder things got, with each moment the stronger I became. Make no mistake, there were times I felt I literally could not make it through. I had to remind myself that God does everything for a reason, but I won't always know what the reason is. Sometimes we're better off not knowing because it builds patience and dependence on God. I've learned to be content with what God had for me because it is best. In the realm of faith and spirituality, the idea of confession and forgiveness plays a significant role. The Bible, in particular, speaks about the power of confession and the importance of seeking forgiveness for one's wrongdoings. Recently, a terrible truth has come to light someone has confessed to God about a harmful act they have committed against you. This article will explore the spiritual implications of such a confession and how it can lead to healing and restoration. In Christian teachings, confession is seen as a vital step towards healing and reconciliation. It is the act of acknowledging one's sins, mistakes, and wrongdoings before God and, at times, before others. By confessing, the individual takes responsibility for their actions, seeks forgiveness, and demonstrates a commitment to change. Type yes if you needed this. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This verse underscores the power of confession that God, in His mercy, is willing to forgive and restore those who humbly come before Him in repentance. While the confession is primarily between the offender and God, it can still have a significant impact on the person who was wronged. Learning about the confession can evoke a variety of emotions, including relief, validation, or even frustration, depending on the context and the relationship between the individuals involved. As a recipient of such a confession, it is essential to recognize that the offender has taken a crucial step towards acknowledging their wrongdoing and seeking forgiveness. This act of repentance can pave the way for healing and restoration, both spiritually and interpersonally. 
Forgiveness is a cornerstone of Christian teaching and is closely intertwined with the concept of confession. Forgiving the offender is not only beneficial for their spiritual well-being but also for the offended party's healing process. Exhorts Believers Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. By extending forgiveness, the offended party can release the burden of resentment and allow the healing process to begin. The confession of a terrible truth can be a catalyst for positive change and growth. If both parties are open to healing and restoration, they can work towards rebuilding trust and fostering a healthier relationship. This process may involve setting boundaries, engaging in open communication, and seeking guidance from wise counselors or spiritual leaders. In some cases, reconciliation may not be possible, especially if the offense is particularly harmful or if there is an ongoing pattern of abuse. However, even in these situations, the offended party can still choose to release the offender to God, trusting that he will bring about justice and healing in his perfect time and way. When someone confessed a terrible truth to God about what they had done to you, it may have been a difficult and painful revelation. Nonetheless, the act of confession is an essential step towards healing and restoration, both spiritually and interpersonally. By acknowledging the wrongdoing, seeking forgiveness, and extending grace, both parties can begin to move forward, finding hope and healing in the transformative power of God's love and mercy. In the tapestry of human relationships, the threads of love, betrayal, forgiveness, and redemption weave together in intricate patterns, often beyond our understanding. Each of us carries our own secrets, burdens, and sins, sometimes hidden even from ourselves. When someone confesses a terrible truth about how they treated another, it resonates not only in their own soul but also reverberates through the lives they have touched, particularly the one they wronged. Confession, in its essence, is an act of courage. It takes profound strength to confront one's own failings and to admit to God, and to oneself, the damage caused to another. This inner dialogue with God can be charged with regret, shame, and sorrow, but it also opens the door to healing and transformation. The one who confesses sheds the weight of their actions, a burden they've carried, perhaps, for far longer than they should have. Imagine a scenario where someone has wronged you deeply, perhaps through betrayal, lying, or causing you significant pain. They carried the knowledge of their actions, perhaps even justifying them in some way as they navigated life. But quietly, within the recesses of their heart, guilt festered. It forms shadows and they take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord. To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.